What are you, you doing? What I should have done at midnight. James, are you back for one last kiss? Oh. oh my god, it's really you. What are you doing here? Get back. Check cell box four. Oh, Lieutenant McBain, thanks for coming. Yeah. Bo, I'm glad you're here. I'm not with the department anymore, but I do what I can. Yeah. We can use all the help we can get. What the hell happened here? Well, the regional power grid was on the blink all day. We noticed. Well, it seems that one of the inmates, maybe more, had connections to the outside. They were able to sabotage the grid. At midnight, there was a full-on blackout. The electronic locks here, all disarmed. Should emergency power prevented that? Well, it took a minute to kick in. The inmates stormed out of the cells and attacked the guards. And they uh, blew open the exterior gate with a makeshift bomb. <laughs> Prisoners went flying out of here, heading God knows where. Is somebody here? Who's here? No, it's me. Oh, my God. Troy, what are you doing here? Where'd you get out of prison? I've missed you, Nora. You all right? Get back to me when you have a number. I called in every unit that's not dealing with a blackout. I appreciate it. Yeah, let's put a call in the chair of the LPD, all right? They're fanning out around the prison. Do we know how many inmates are missing? We're trying to get a handle on it. You know, at least 100. Were they armed? Unfortunately, the inmates were able to overpower the guards and take their weapons look i'm telling you i've never seen a break like this it was perfectly executed but fortunately we got the ringleader in custody who was it prisoner 92973 mitch lawrence Happy New Year to you, too, Natalie. <laughs> Are you, uh, happy to see me? soon for me. Uh, didn't we just usher in the new year by burning up all the bad stuff that had happened to us in the last little while? I feel like it's five minutes ago, all right? Uh, you know, give the girls some time here. Okay, but what you wrote down on that piece of paper, that was about Tomas, right? Yeah. Okay, so everything to do with Tomas just went up in smoke. Isn't that enough? Why are you still beating yourself up over this? 
why don't we both just let everything to do with Tomas go, okay? Just for tonight. You just, were you what, you escaped? No, I mean, well, not on purpose. What does that mean? I, I don't even know what happened. The power went out and then all the cells were unlocked. And Star was, was totally insane in there. The inmates were beating on the guards. Look, you look okay. Well, I'm fine. I stayed out of the fight, but the next thing I knew, I was heading for the exit. And when I got outside, oh, Star felt so good. You're sure dead. So I just kept going. I didn't even think about it. I just, I just did it. I just kept thinking I had to get it here to my family. I had to see Hope and you. How else would I have gotten out of prison? I behaved myself. So you, um, you got out on good behavior? I was very good, Nora. You see, I knew if I could keep myself in check that I could get out sooner. And guess what? Yeah. It worked. Isn't this great? Yes. Yes, that's wonderful news. I'm, I'm very happy for you. Oh, I just really think that 2012 could be my year, Nora. I can feel it. Can't you feel it? Absolutely. So how about a hug? To wish me the best. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was hoping I wouldn't have to use this, Nora. But I don't have any choice. Put down the phone, Nora. I don't understand this, Troy. I was so proud of you when you said that you'd gotten out on good behavior, and now I see you have a gun. I mean, are you lying to me, Troy? I had to. I didn't want to scare you. So how did you get out of prison? This blackout? We made it happen. Once the lights went out, the cell doors just opened. We managed to pick this up in all the confusion. Don't you understand what's going on here now, Troy? You're gonna have to go back there. I mean, you're gonna get caught. This is, you've just made things worse. Nora, how much worse can they be? I know I couldn't get out of there any other way. But I had to get out, Nora. I couldn't help myself. Because I knew it was the only hope I had of ever being with you again. Lawrence set off the bomb that blew open the front gate. Unfortunately, it exploded in his face. Lawrence got injured in his own escape with him. I can't say that I'm sorry. I wouldn't want that maniac running around out there menacing our families. I'm going to take my hand away, and you are not going to scream. Otherwise, your parents' blood will be on your hands. So, will you heed the messenger? <laughs> All right, then. You filthy, disgusting lunatic. Why, Natalie? Don't you harbor even the slightest degree of affection for your old husband? I had a real husband, Jared, and you killed him, you son of a bitch. Oh, Jared was worthless. He deserved to die. <laughs> you do know that James and I... Yeah, are the, I know about the, you and what James. What are you doing here? You just escaped prison. I've dreamed about this. Literally. And then I'd wake up in my 8x10 cell. Now, just being here, it's... We played with hope for the first time in this house. <gasps> After we spent all those months thinking she was dead, Jessica brought her back to us and we played with her right here. Do you remember that? Of course I do. How could I forget? We were finally okay again. Oh, you're not supposed to be here. You're supposed to be doing time for a murder. You don't want to make that longer because of a jailbreak. We need to get you back to the police station, explain your situation. Maybe, th maybe they'll take it easy on you. But... No. 
I'm not going back there. Not until I see her daughter. I let go of Tomas tonight. Right. I, I thought that we did all that burning stuff so that we could start over together, right? All the mistakes, they're, they're, they're literally blowing in the wind, okay? This is our year. This new year is for our year. God, I wish it were that simple. You don't think it's that no, simple? Do you? Really? Really, Doc? When I first came back here to Landview, right? When I fought my way here to be with you, I was watching you. Stalking you. I was stalking you from those bushes right outside, okay? And I saw you for the first time in eight years. And do you know how difficult it was to not just run to you, to touch you, to tell you how much I had been thinking of you, how much I had hoped to see you again? Todd. We belong together. You know that we belong together. It's not about Tomas, is it? If Tomas is not what's keeping you from being with me, then what is it? It's you. Look, Lawrence is still unconscious. You won't get anything out of him. Do you know which inmates from Landview yeah. escaped, Richard? And we're trying to find out, I mean. Things is still pretty chaotic. Now, we were able to lock down the cell blocks and, uh, and secure those inmates, but we're still trying to get an ID on those that escaped. I'll get an update. John? What are you thinking about Lawrence? Hallelujah. you, girl. Oh, all this over Jared. Well, at least John McBain gave you a child, but that pitiful Jared, he didn't give you anything. What the hell do you want, Rich? You know what I want. I want my daughter, Jessica. I don't know where she is. She went out. And even if I didn't know where she is, you would have to kill me first. Oh, well, asking you shall receive. But before... Uh, Resorting to bloodshed. Let's go check upstairs. Wait, no, 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 don't, don't, don't. Please, Star, let me see Hope. You do see Hope every week when we come to visit. It's not the same. Here, I can hold her. I can walk around with her. I can even put her back in bed and Could kiss her goodnight instead of just waving the, goodbye. The police could come in at any minute. Five minutes, Star. Just five minutes where I can forget that I shot Eli. I thought he killed you, and I hope that was the worst moment of my life. Oh, I know that, and I am sorry. I know I screwed up. I just want one more chance to hold my daughter, to see her without guards timing the visit. Please, Star. Can I see her? She's sleeping. Well, then I'll just look in on her, okay? I'll, I'll just watch her sleep. Cole! Daddy! Hey, Hope! <laughs> That's my beautiful little girl. I missed you. I missed you more than you'll ever know. I'm what's keeping you from being with me. What did I do? What did I do this time? It's not just this time, Dot. Come on. We've been through years and years of ups and downs, back and forth, marriages, divorces. That's life. Not so bad. The ups, they were um, amazing. The downs, they... Oh, my God. 
Sometimes I loved you so much, I couldn't even see straight. Then you would go and you would, you'd do something and you'd screw it up. I mean, something that was so terrible that, you know, most people don't even think about things like that, but you'd hide it. Truth would come out, destroy us. Yep. I did that to you more than once. How many times did I trust you, completely give you my heart, and my soul, only to have you just stomp on that dress, rip my heart out, and tear that soul into little bits? I, I can't do that. I, I can't do that again, Todd. <clears throat> I can't. <clears throat> Well, I feel like it's different this time. I feel like I'm different. I feel like I'm... I'm... changed. How many times did you say that to it's me? It's different before? this time because the promises that I've made, I have made to myself. I made a lot of promises to myself in that hellhole, and I swear I will keep every one of them. Can you guarantee me that? Hmm? Can you really stand right here? Look me in the eye and promise me that you won't let me fall for you again, only to have you hurt me, lie to me, betray me, tear me apart? Can you promise me that? Absolutely not. Why the hell would I do that? There you go, sweetie. This will keep you warm. Hey, Cole. You saw Hope. It's time to put her in bed. We'll go to the police station. Star. I'm sorry, but it is the right thing. You need to go back to Statesville. I'm not going back. 